Hey kids, as you know, many people struggle with weight management. Usually that means they can't keep the pounds off, but if you're like me, you might struggle with the opposite problem. Seriously, this drawing is only a slight exaggeration. So, I'm going to teach you how to turn that dank lankin into skank bankin. Quick disclaimer, I am not a nutritionist, I'm mostly talking out my ass here, but I'm reasonably sure that most of the claims I make in this video are factually correct. Alright, let's do this. Tips Tuesday. Tip number one, eat a dumb meat. It builds muscle. You know why? Because it is muscle. I'm talking the beef, the pork, the chicky. It's all good. There is no better source of dense protein out there. Tip number two, peanut butter. Any nutritionist can tell you that a balance of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats is necessary for a healthy diet. Peanut butter is that balance. Very calorie dense as well, about 90 in each tablespoon. You're gonna wanna opt for chunk style rather than smooth, as it is closer to raw peanuts. Tip number three, no coffee. But Sam, you say, I need the coffee for my energy. Well, guess what? That's a bunch of pussy bullshit. A man should be running on pure willpower alone. Coffee is a stimulant that makes you waste energy. It makes you poop, waste the nutrients. And it's an appetite suppressant, so you can't stuff your gut as good. Tip number four, supplement with fats. Making spinach? That's good. It's got the nutrients. But it's also got like six calories total. Throw a tablespoon of butter on top of it, and suddenly you up to 106 calories. Don't go with just butter though, it might turn you into a racist. I'm Paula Dean. Instead, diversify your oils. Olive, peanut, coconut, especially coconut, pop that shit on potato, that's the fazool. Just don't drink crude oil or else you will die. Or turn into a billionaire, but I wouldn't risk it. Tip number five, milk. It's like water, except better, because it's got proteins and lactose. But Sam, I don't want my friends seeing me drinking milk. That's what children do. I will punt you over my house, because that is more pussy bullshit. They might laugh now, but they won't be laughing once they see your sick gains. Just don't drink milk all the time. You could die. Okay, probably not, but milk is not too good a hydrator, so just drink water too. Do both. Both is good. Tip number six, eggs. Protein good for chicks, protein good for attracting chicks. Now the egg consists of two parts, as you know, the yolk and the white, also known as the albumin, albumin, albumin. However, the Al Pacino is not nearly as dense as the yolk as far as calories and proteins are concerned. So if you wanted to get technical, you could ditch the Alpine Ridge and just eat the yolks. You won't miss out on much, as the pair have similar protein contents, just the Al-Qaeda also has a lot of water weight. In conclusion, egg whites are for gays. That's why they look like G- Tip number seven. Hey Junior, what you drinking there? Pepsi? Are you shitting me? Tip number seven, no sodas. They contain empty calories, for one. Secondly, carbonation is a waste of space. Produces gas, wastes valuable stomach space, so you can't eat as much. You know why they call it pop? It's because I'll pop a cap in your ass if I catch you drinking it. Tip number eight, most important, exercise. This is the sole tip that separates the fit fucks from the fat fucks. Obviously, you're going to want to lift, but you should definitely get some cardio in there as well. But Sam, you say, everybody knows that cardio kills gains. I will punt you into the stratosphere because that is more, say it with me, pussy bullshit. Sure, an hour of jogging might lose you 400 calories, but you also get all of these benefits. So follow these tips and you'll be swollen in no time. I'm Salmonella, and thank you for watching.